what is up everybody welcome back um i don't actually know which episode this is but welcome back to uh, wizard 101 the best let's play ever besides modded stardew valley which gets not a lot of views. but anyways okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna <laughs> last time i just had these quests i still need to find crafting stuff i haven't done anything with golem's court and finished Catching the fish, and I'm going to talk to this guy. Sizes of the frost decoy and ice cootie you caught. I reckon that must have taken a bit out of you. Oh, yes. As you may have noticed, fishing costs energy. Never fear, your energy will replenish over time. But we need to get on with your next fishing lesson. So, here, have this energy elixir so we can get started. Nice. So, yeah. I'll you ready for your there. next fishing lesson now? Yeah, sounds like someone's hooked on fishing. Let's get started. You are a bright kid, so I'm sure you noticed that the lesser frost lure I gave you is an ice school spell. And you probably also noticed that the frost decoy and the ice cuda are both ice school fish. Ice fish like ice lures. You can catch non-ice fish with your lesser ice lure, but you'll have a better chance if you buy the other school lure. I have lures for each school I can sell you. Well, they're not required, but they will help you with your next objective. Catch one shark spear, a mechanical armor head, a catfish, a gar fish, a fish sandwich, a mainstream decoy, and bonefish. Yeah, because I'm nice, I'm not gonna tell you to catch seven fish and just wish you luck. I'm gonna give you luck. Nice. <laughs> That's a lot of fish. Okay. So we need to catch all those fish. I will catch those off camera because I don't want to. I don't want to be taking up your guys' time. Um, we are going to talk to Prospector Zeke though, because he has a quest for us apparently. Hey there, youngin. I see you're making quite the name for yourself as a helpful sort. That's good to hear. I was wondering if you could help old Zeke with something. Not too much to do, really. I just brought a package marked Dreadful from Marleybone. Same name on that letter you gave me. You explain that your friend, Penny Dreadful, is a student in the Death School in Wizard City. Okay then, this must be for her. Could you take it to her? I appreciate your help. Prospector Zeke hands you the package. It rattles and shakes a little bit, and makes a strange noise. <gasps> you go to Missing where Penny. Penny is usually standing and she's not there. You see her spell book lying open on the ground. You don't like snooping, but this might be the only clue to Penny's whereabouts. Penny's latest entry says, I'm so impressed with my wizard friend's example. I'm going to go into the dark cave between Firecat Alley and Cyclops Lane and see what I can learn about Malastare's whereabouts. She finishes with, I'm leaving my spell book here in hopes that if my friend finds it, they can come and help me out. Hmm. So we're going to there. Oh, I have, I have an hour of. Well, that's not gonna help because I'm not doing that right now. And it's gonna take more than whatever to get that done. Okay, so we are going to talk to the Muldoon in Old Town. I'll be back. What's up, Muldoon? Let's go. A giant problem. There's a kid on Cyclops Lane named Nolan Stormgate. You should talk to him. He sounds like he's in trouble. He's dealing with the giants there and has been asking us to send students. Better go see what he wants. One of my guards, uh, Private Quinn, sent a message. Can't spare any... One of my guards... Oh, uh, we have to accept that. Can't spare any men. But maybe you can help. He's on fire, Catali. Okay. We are going to Cyclops Lane. As you can see, I am not a member, but I have bought in the area in my previous uh, playthroughs and stuff. Whoa, this looks this looks pretty cool. Also, I want to get I want to minimize that. I don't care about that. Whoa, ooh, ooh, ooh. This actually looks pretty cool. Um, let's go. That's not old. Oh, that is dark. Cave. Okay, well, I'm not going in there yet because we're going to go talk to Nolan Stormgate at Festival Park. Yes, yes. I don't want to talk to Private Emerson right now. Nolan. What are you doing here? 
Only talented wizards like me should be out on these dangerous streets. Why is everybody a a-hole? Think you have what it takes? This place needs real heroes. We'll see if you can make the grade. Let's see how useful you are. Professor Drake put me in charge of a very important mission. Magical artifacts from the old death school have resurfaced. I've decided you're going to recover the one inside the spooky dark cave. Every other student I've asked has been too afraid to go, so I'm hoping for better from you. Battle everything in the dark cave until you find the ruined skull. Okay, well, yeah, I'm going to do that, of course. Here's some cattails. Here's some more cattails. Here is the smith in Cyclops Lane. Here's some mistwood that I actually need a lot of. Um, okay, so I guess we are going into the dark cave. Entrance to dark cave. You hear Penny's voice from up the street. She's shouting for help. Okay, so I'm actually going to do find Penny because she's going to lead me to the mission. I believe. She's going to run across. Find a place to run, 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 run. Oh, there's Penny. Okay. What's up, Penny? You found my spell book. Oh, I got so scared. I forgot all my spells. You hand Penny her spell book and the strange package. You're a lifesaver. I should be all right now. I better get reading. I can find my way back on my own. Penny looks inside the... Oh, my silly parents. They sent me a pet cyclops from Marleybone. They forgot that I'm allergic to cyclopes. <laughs> Your parents forgot you were allergic to something. You've been such a dear friend to me. <laughs> I want you to have it. <laughs> Thanks, Penny. Got a blue cyclops. Cool. Okay, so now we just need to defeat any undead. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we got it. That actually didn't take as long you as I thought. You found the rune skull? Huh. Oh, faster than I could have imagined. Professor Jake will be pleased with me. Wow. I told a few students to pick up death relics up the street. Now they're nowhere to be found. No doubt gabbing instead of working. Can you look after the students on the slim, slim chance that something's happened to them? I'd start with the trolls. They look shifty. So fight them and get any clues? Blue Cyclops is whatever. I'm going to actually the accept Cyclops this quest. Cyclops Legion used armor from the armory, but they never gave it back. We sure need it. They left the armor in crates all along the street. Please, collect these Jimmy crates and bring them to me. And then Private Sweeney, I'm going to talk to him. Too many trolls, a task for Sweeney. Oh there! I'm looking for volunteers to help drive out some of these trolls. Let's send them packing now that they're no longer needed. You ask why the trolls are here in the first place? Well, we had a bit of an undead problem a while back. They were pouring out a dark cave and wreaking havoc here. So we asked the professors at Ravenwood for aid. Cyrus helped out. Well, sort of. He summoned a legion of trolls to drive the undead back to Dark Cave. Hmm. After the undead were defeated, the trolls decided to take up residence here. Since Cyrus decided it was not his concern, we've had to live with them ever since. Care to help us out? Sure. With all the fighting going on, I need some new magic armor. Can you find Rand Tamor and ask him to make some for me? Yes, I can, but I'm going to uh, fight some trolls right now, though. So, I'll be back after we get the clues in the six troll deaths.
Okie dokie. We can talk to Good both these guys work. now. Hopefully those trolls will pack up and head home soon, leaving us to live in peace once more. Boom. There's one. Here's number two. Excellent. This armor will help us protect the people. Cyclops Legion doesn't know when to quit. They attack anyone and use our weapons to do it. Battle the Cyclops soldiers and reclaim our weapons. Maybe they'll get the message that the war's over. Well, not gonna do that yet. What is this? A letter? How odd. Trolls can't read. By the handwriting, a Cyclops wrote this. They never dot their eyes. It's addressed to M, whoever that is. I should take a look at it if students are in danger. Great fire, Bats! The Cyclops have kidnapped the students! Oh, good thing you found this. We must act immediately! I hope they're not gonna blame me for those students getting themselves kidnapped. Probably are. I know! I'll inform Professor Drake at once. He'll know what to do. When I tell him how those students got themselves kidnapped while I was... On second thought, I think you should go tell him. I'll stay here and... Keep an eye on those Cyclops. He's annoying. We did get a sturdy blade, however, so I'm going to go here. Novice gives us 18 max. I'd much rather that, actually. Amulets, nothing. That, nothing. Twitchy, whatever. Nothing. No. No, no. Do we get? Soldier wraps can't wear. Amethyst studded cloak. 32 max health or one fire. Um, defense and health. Okay. Let's go to see Professor Cyrus Drake. Professor Drake, I guess, would be his name is. Or Professor Cyrus. I don't know if they're a first name or second name basis. I don't. I don't. I feel like we aren't on one because I don't really know him that much. You know. You know. Oops. 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 Okay. Okay. What's up, Cyrus? What do you want? I really don't want to tell Professor you. Professor Drake sneers at the ransom note. Yeah. Take this message to Victor Darkwood, the robe shopkeeper. Be quick about it. Time is of the essence here. All right, he's a dick. That's what I forgot. I, f I forgot what he forgot. Okie dokie. I'll go and be back and yeah. Okay, we're in the shop. Ah, a message from Professor Drake. <laughs> yes, yes, I've been expecting you. You'll need to hurry back with this. The shopkeeper retrieves a large sack and hands it to you. Here you go. Professor Drake's laundry. Freshly cleaned and pressed. And don't let it drag on the pavement now. Holy crow. That's really rude. <laughs> I don't like Professor Drake's at all. Like, he's... Yeah. What's it with... Okay, what's it with myth people being d-bags because so far both are d-bags and then death students are also somewhat snobbish not as snobbish as myth students like ah, 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 ah. that certainly took you long enough shut up professor drake shakes his head at you go die you're still worried about those missing students yes well this is definitely a problem. He's literally like Professor Snape in Take this Harry message Potter. to the headmaster. That should resolve things to my satisfaction. No, oh, I really don't like him. I really don't like him. I really don't like him. He's rude. I like Melinda Wu. I like Lydia Grey Rose. I like Dahlia Flaumea. I forget her actual first name. And I like Ah, young wizard, it's good to see you. You have a note for me. Let's see it. The headmaster reads Professor Drake's note. I will not expel you from the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts, regardless of what Professor Drake thinks of you. I hate him. You are not responsible for the problems on Cyclops Lane. General Achilles and his men promised to drive out the trolls. Now, Achilles has gone back on his word. I fear there is something more sinister behind Achilles' change of heart. This M is to blame. 
We will need to know more. Drake is of no use here, but you have been most helpful. Go back to Nolan Stormgate and help him straighten this out. I brewed up this potion especially for Bartleby, the tree in the center of Ravenwood. He hasn't been feeling well lately. He has trouble remembering things since his eye was stolen. The headmaster gives you a bottle with a bubbling blue elixir inside. Take the potion over to Bartleby and see what happens. Take note of anything he says. I don't want to go there yet. I'm not going to do the Bartleby little bee when I'll do... I'm going to do the a whole bunch of Cyclops Lane stuff. I wasn't expecting Professor Drake to leave everything to us. He must really trust me. Oh my... Oh. Professor Drake is expecting big things. The Cyclops General Achilles wrote the note, so we need to reach his keep. But to do that, we need a gate pass. Maybe, can you steal one from the Warhorns? All you have to do is defeat some. Yeah, that should be easy enough. Mm. Mm. Hello there, good to see you. So Private Sweeney needs some new armor. I guess I can do that. First, I need metal to make the armor. Every rotting fodder in the dark cave carries a spade. Would you be kind enough to collect some for me? I will, but not right now. I'm defeating war horns. Because, you know, that's something that I have to do. I like those eyes. That's a nice new touch. Ooh, a silver chest. Go, 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 go. Yes. You don't know how to open a magic chest? How tedious. Oh yeah, it's a key game. Oh no, oh no. I need to catch a one. One, one, one. Come on, where's a one? One. One? Not a single one. Come on. There's a two. There's one, there's one. One. Oh, I missed the two. Okay. Need another two. Uh, no, 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 no. Need more time. I don't know if the bomb is actually good or not, so I'm not going to do that. Oh. Two. Come on. Where's a two? My. Literally no twos. Sorry, need a ooh, one. Two. Two, there's a two, there's a two. There's a two. Or the three, there's a three. Three. Okay, whatever. There's going to be a four, and now we just need a five. Five. Time, time, time. Five way over here. Let's just go. Go. Yes. Mm, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, boy. Of course, I won. Cyrus can go eat a poop. Lighting bass treasure card. Cool. Treasure card that I don't actually need. Wow, that's me. Ooh. Okay. Warhorn. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna kill him and get the key and maybe kill some Cyclops and stuff and I'll be back. Okie dokie, we're back. I'm just gonna accept his quest ah, first. you brought me a bunch of weapons. That means fewer Cyclops fighting in the streets. Ah, you brought me a bunch of weapons. Aha, 
Ius Maximus, second in command of the Cyclops Legion, has been urging them to fire. Maximus wields the Thunder Hammer, a weapon that strikes with the power of a thunderbolt. His lair is further down the lane. Stop him from fighting, and the rest of the Legion should follow. Okay. Will you bring the hammer to me? Sure. You got the pass. Great job. I'm glad I thought of that. With your magic and my brains, we make an unstoppable team. Yeah, I bet you you could do it all yourself. You don't need me. I'd okay, here's my plan. Show your pass to the guard, Romulus, outside the keep at the end of the street, and he'll let you in. He's not too bright. Then you must challenge General Achilles in combat. Cyclopses are honor-bound. According to the Cyclops' code of honor, he can't refuse to fight you. See where I'm going? Even if someone is telling Achilles to hold the students hostage, once you defeat him in battle, he will be honor-bound to free them. All you have to do is beat him. Wow, level up, and... Desert, I hear you have reached level 10. Come to me when you... My, my! Coming along quite quickly, are we? Come see me when you have a chance. We are going straight there. I'm gonna leave a thing and go straight there because I'm excited. We are getting a new spell. We are getting the Storm Shark. Yes. That was awesome. Okay, just let me grab this two, these two. Storm Shark, oh my goodness. Yes. That is actually really exciting. I am really happy. Even though I'm to definitely talking in a happy voice, I'm definitely talking in a happy voice. Okay. Sup, give me. Give me, give me, give me. Storm shark. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, snakes, you are now gone. Thunder bats, you are too. Uh lightning strikes don't even need you anymore. Um Let's add two of these. Let's just make sure we have all the storm sharks. Two of those, two of those, yeah, those will work. And then uh, I wouldn't mind a snake just in case, a snake or two. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's go to Cyclops Lane. All these can just go. Okay, new spell. We are trying it out on Romulus. But I will be back once I uh, find him. So, yeah. Okay, we're coming up on Romulus. Uh, well, you don't look like a warhorn to me, but, uh, this pass looks good, so I guess you could go in. Nice. Let's go. Let, let's go. Let's go defeat Romulus. Defeat, or no, defeat General Achilles. We don't have to defeat Romulus. My bad. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I might change up the deck, though. I might. a girl's voice yeah, after you left. Help us, please! We're held here by General Achilles! What? You are here to rescue these students? That I cannot allow! I am honor-bound to keep them until I'm told otherwise. But if you were to defeat me, I would be honor-bound to free them for it. If you want their freedom, you will have to fight me for it! And mind you, as General, I will put up a good fight! Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I just want to change one thing. I want to get rid of these, um, and add... Lightning strikes? I'll add a lightning strike and also add a shield. Just because. Bats would have been good though. Please be my attack first. <gasps> it's my attack first. And we got a power bamp. Oh, dude, we got a power pip, but I want lightning bats. I want to use the storm shark, but this would this will take the him out right away. So as long as I don't fizzle, I should be good. Okay, we're good. There's the power pit gone. Now you just have to worry about one person. And that happens, of course. Okay. Oh, we got another power pit. Okay, Pixie, you go away. Okay, you go away. I'll keep these. Earthwalker, you can do whatever. I will shield myself this turn. I know he's going to use a myth and attack me for a lot. Ah, uh, crap. I wish I had a myth shield. 250. 
quite a bit. Okay, um, shark. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, yes. Yes. You have defeated me, brave wizard. So I must honor your request to free the students. My master will be angry that I let them go, but I must obey the Cyclops' code of honor. Go now. They are free. Oh, yeah. We're also going to equip that because that's a decent amount of stuff. What's Thank that? you for freeing us. We were starting to believe that no one was coming to help us. Thank goodness you showed up. No telling who would have come to rescue us. I thought at least Professor Drake would have come looking for us, but he didn't. Thank you for coming. Yeah. No, I'm the only one, so... Just saying. Okay, let's go back to Nolan. Been, oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my god, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I